remain standing for the invitation given by Chaplain Bauer. I might offer her willing, but with their hearts, bow their heads, joining me in prayer. Gracious and loving God, we are humbled to be gathered here today to celebrate this happy occasion, the graduation of our newest airmen in the United States Air Force. We thank you for their efforts and dedication displayed in their pride, professionalism, and proficiency. The strength and unity of our nation is shown in them. We thank you for the support of their families and loved ones who have developed and encouraged them on their journey to becoming airmen. We also thank you for our leaders and military training instructors. They have devoted countless hours and tireless efforts, transforming them into the world's finest airmen. We are grateful for their families who have supported our professional military instructors, sacrificing their time with them and allowing them to accomplish their, accomplish their mission, training the next generation of American airmen with pride, character, excellence to be second to none. As our airmen continue in their chosen path, guide them and bless them. As they serve our nation selflessly with integrity and honor, we pray out this in your spirit, which is abundant life. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Brower. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's basic military training graduation parade. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the host for today's ceremony. The commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio, Latin, Texas, Colonel Jason Carruthers. <laughs> Representing the superintendent, Air Force Base Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Lee Hoover. Today's reviewing officer is the commander, 317th Air Wing, Dice Air Force Base, Texas, Colonel David Owens. From the 37th Training Wing, the commander, 37th Training Wing, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Colonel Roy Collins. The Command Chief, 37th Training Wing, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Chief Master Sergeant Philip Eckenrod, <laughs> accompanied by his wife, Robbie. Also in attendance with us today, representatives of the State of Texas, House of Representatives, Ms. Dina McGuire. Commander, 412 Test Wing, Edwards Air Force Base, California, Brigadier General Carl Schaefer. <laughs> the Command Chief, 412 Test Wing, Edwards Air Force Base, California, Chief Master Sergeant Roosevelt Jones. <laughs> the Command Chief, 317th Airlift Wing, Dyes Air Force Base, Texas, Chief Master Sergeant Joshua Swanger. <laughs> the Commander, 314th Airlift Wing, Little Rock Air Force Base, Arkansas, Colonel Daniel DeVoe, accompanied by his wife, Emily. <laughs> the Command Chief Master Sergeant, 340, 341st Airlift Wing, Chief Master Sergeant Justin Strain, accompanied by his wife, Jody. <laughs> the Senior Enlisted Advisor, Defense Information Systems Agency, Fort George Lee, Maryland, Chief Master Sergeant Andrea Drake Gates. <laughs> we would also like to introduce a distinguished group in attendance with us today. Would the members of the Air Education and Training Command's Squadron Command Team and Spouse Corps, Class 18B, please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Although time does not permit us to introduce, introduce all of our distinguished guests, the 37th Training Wing is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony. The Airmen 
women who will pass and review today have completed a demanding seven and a half week program that provides Air Force units throughout the world with trained airmen. Part of this training includes the time-proven concept of military customs and traditions, of which this parade is a vital part. All graduating airmen will also march over the enlisted heroes walk. They will lead the way for thousands of airmen that will follow, all reflecting on our enlisted heritage, tradition of honor, and our legacy of valor. Our commander of airmen is Master Sergeant Jason Douglas, Master Military Training Instructor, 331st Training Squadron. Colonel Owens will review today's ceremony.
Thank you. Please be seated. Sir, the parade is formed. Take your post.
Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating airmen passing in review today represent a portion of the 40,000 recruits who will complete basic military training this year. The 737 training group provides all recruits with the essential military training to become motivated members of the enlisted corps of the greatest air force in the world. The military training instructors are responsible for the indoctrination, development, they have dedicated endless hours to ensure all training objectives are met. Today's graduates have proven through academic studies, military training, physical training, and the development of teamwork that they are ready to take their place in the United States Air Force. The flight you will view today are representation of the enlisted force. Each flight represents an enlisted member of the Air Force who has embodied our core values and contributed to its heritage. As our graduates turn left onto the bomb run to pass the review, they will march over the enlisted heroes' walk. The airmen recognized on the papers have been awarded our nation's highest honors, representing heroic and unselfish actions United States Air Force in armed conflict, including present-day operations in Afghanistan. They include seven Medal of Honor, 28 Air Force Crosses, and 129 Silver Stars awarded for bravery during encounters with hostile enemy combatants. These enlisted heroes serve to inspire all of them to execute their duties courageously and with honor in their service to this great nation. Airmen with the, armed with the knowledge of our past, the airmen will exit the hero's walk by marching over a blue line, signifying their accession into the greatest air power in the world. <laughs> Musical support for this morning's ceremony has been provided by the 737th Trained Group's Drum and Bugle Corps from the 321st Training Squadron, performing today under the direction of Master Sergeant Sherry Wynn, hometown of Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs> These trainees are also in basic military training, but have been hand-selected to perform for ceremonies of this type. We would like for you to notice our national, state, and territorial flags. As these flags pass in review, Please stand and render the appropriate courtesies for our national flag. Once the flags have been passed in review, please be courteous of others and be seated in order to allow all our guests the opportunity to view the flags as they pass in review. Now passing in review, our Commander of Airmen is Master Sergeant Jason Douglas, Master of Military Training Instructor, 331st Training Squadron, hometown Altoona, Alabama. From the 321st Training Squadron, the 737th Training Group Drum and Fuel Corps, led by Technical Sergeant Marcus Foley, hometown Dublin, Georgia, and Technical Sergeant Evan Conlon, hometown Okinawa, Japan.
Led by Technical Sergeant Christine Castro, hometown Barndale, California. On the 324 Training Squadron, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force Number 11, Campanelli Flight. Led by Technical Sergeant Jonathan Ward, hometown North Pole, Alaska. From the 331st Training Squadron, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force No. 3, Kisling Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Raquel Sanchez, hometown Waipaho, Hawaii. The squadron selected as the color guard is from the 324 Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Yoel Rudell. Hometown Spring Branch, Texas. The flights selected to carry our national, state, and territorial flags are all from the 331st Training Squadron, representing the Air Force First Female Chief Master Sergeant Peterson Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Patrick Stewart, hometown Vacaville, California, and Technical Sergeant Grant Gaming, hometown Salem, Virginia. The B Squadron Commander is Technical Sergeant Celebrity Robertson, Military Training Instructor, 322nd Training Squadron, Hometown Midway, Georgia. From the 331st Training Squadron, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force No. 13, Fish Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Nathan Smith, Hometown Halstead, England. From the 320th Training Squadron, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force No. 6, McCoy Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Anthony Rimming, hometown Brown City, Ohio. From the 320th Training Squadron, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force No. 7, Andrews Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Jeremiah Simmons. Hometown, Albuquerque, New Mexico. From the 320th Training Squadron, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force No. 8, Parish Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Robert Terran, Hometown, Superior, Montana. From the 320th Training Squadron, representing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force No. 10, Kingston Flight, led by Technical Sergeant Luis Escobar, hometown Arlington, Texas.
the last seven and a half weeks, the airmen before you have transformed from civilian into motivated, disciplined warrior airmen with a foundation to serve in the world's greatest air force. Once these airmen need basic military training, they will enter airmen week, where they will develop their critical thinking skills and further personalize the Air Force core values. They will continue on the technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in one of over 118 Air Force specialties. They will then move on to serve at one of over 84 Air Force bases around the world or work directly with our sister services. As these airmen move on to technical training, they will continue to focus on adapting to military requirements, achieving optimization progression, and learning how to be highly productive members of the Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, please focus your attention to the right as four T6 Texan tubes render a flying salute to our graduating airmen. These aircraft are from the 559 Flying Training Squadron. These men and women will prepare for increased responsibility and must ensure they are trained, qualified, and ready to deploy and operate in an expeditionary environment while maintaining home station readiness. Of the hundreds of thousands of American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the U.S. military, and even smaller percentage in the United States. You should be proud of their accomplishments thus far. The airmen before you have reached a milestone in their Air Force journey, and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors. These airmen are the future of our Air Force, and will pave the way for future generations of airmen as we continue to fly, fight, and win. like to take a moment to congratulate all of our squadron honor graduates as well as their families. Basic military trained honor graduates distinguish themselves by being ranked in the top 10% of all airmen graduating in their class. The exceptional personal dedication, integrity, service before self, and sustained excellence these airmen display throughout basic military training earn them this outstanding distinction. As the airmen march forward for the oath of enlistment, we would like to thank the families and friends who 
who are here in support of the airmen graduating today. Your words of encouragement help motivate these airmen through seven and a half weeks of basic military training. On behalf of the United States Air Force and Air Force basic military training, we extend our thanks to the many fan, families and friends of America's airmen for the support of our airmen and the greatest air power the world okay. has ever known. Hey.
absolutely awesome day. You completed basic training. Seven and a half weeks. You got off the airplane, you got off the bus, and I guarantee 99.9% of you wanted to get right back on that bus. <laughs> I did. But stick it out. This is the greatest job. You guys made the greatest decision you have ever could have made. I look forward to working with you for however long we are together. Today, you will begin to serve our nation as an extraordinary airman. This is an absolutely significant event in your life. Kid you not, the most important decision you have made. On behalf of the entire Air Force family, past and present, I just want to say one more time, Thank you for crossing into the blue. Now I got one question. Absolutely. So I've got one question for y'all. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest Air Force? Hey, hi, 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 hi. Man, if that don't give you chills, you are seriously good. Thank you. Please be seated. 